you think will do the most damage by getting the most information. If you have a, a business that the stores music, uh, music not by saying music, I mean like a regular CD. I mean music like maybe you have artists and you are recording artist music. You don't want that artist music out there before the artist even releases the CD. Well, that's what these people do. Crackers, they get in there, they find that music, they take it out of your system, they bring it out to the web. Uh, movies, they do the same thing. So these are different type of entities. They work different, they are different. Uh, the means are the same to do something bad, but the way they do it is different. One wants to get control, power, you already know that's the hacker. But then you got the other one, the ones to get in there and be like James Bond. He just want to get in there, see what you got. Oh, look, ooh, this is interesting, I want that. So he'll just get in and he will try to not leave trace. He will. He doesn't want you to know that a hacker went in there. He doesn't know wants no no show. He doesn't want no no movie theater. He he wants to be totally incognito. He does not want to be noticed. So that's what the that's what the crackers does. So now that we understand these two entities that are out there and that are uh, the ones that are bringing all these problems towards the community of networks. So. What are we gonna do then? Well, let's let's keep covering this video, and we'll keep seeing what am I trying to say. You know, uh, the important thing here is, did you understand? Is no more secrets. People tend to think within, well, within nobody knows. I'll leave it like that because nobody knows. Believe me, people know. They already know, and they know how. And they know why, where, and when to do what. They know. Do not believe it's not going to happen to you because they don't know. They will know. They do know. It's just a matter of do I want to attack you? And, and we're going to talk about that. So second topic, let's go to another topic. It will be like, uh, okay, what is a computer? What is the networks? What is all this? Okay. This is a good one because people need to have a little bit of knowledge. You cannot understand this whole video if you don't understand why this problem began. And we have to start by understanding why this problem began. So we got to go a little bit back to history. I'm going to give you a crash course of history in computers in less than a couple of seconds. So be attention. Uh, what we're going to do is this. Computers started around, remember, People tend to think this has been forever, but this is like a very short period of time that we have gone from what we didn't have to what we have now. So this is the way it started. The history of computers started like around the 70s, um, roughly. I don't want to go back to the 60s or that because I don't really consider those computers. Uh, they used to be called computers, and um, I remember then... Uh, AT&T at that time started with the with their first networks and all that but I don't really call that networks that was networks of communications different type of networks I want to keep it concise to computers really com real computers XT's from there up they most likely started from the 70s you know 70s maybe maybe 75 almost around the 80s you know is where the real computers started and the real networks or the concept of networks started so that's when everything started and everything started with the government they had their their their, their way of having networks and they created the dns uh, by creating the dns uh they started their own concept the department of defense uh, this is the way it calls most of what call it dns so when once they started that protocol Everything started. Started the, the words, the protocol words, the communication words, the layers of communications, the layers of security, uh, the OSI model. All these information started within that er era. So, and the OSI model has not changed. I am saying so. Uh, these are the layers of communication. Remember, I don't want to complicate people with all these details information. I just want you to know that's when everything started. And what is the problem of that? Well, the problem is, since then to now, we're talking almost about, what, 30 years? 
everything's been the same. They haven't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit tweaking here, maybe a little bit tweaking there. The IP concept, which is just the problem of all this. Okay, here we start unraveling the problem. The problem starts with IP. Another concept that I want you to learn from the whole video, this is a very important concept. The problem lies within the IP. The IP is the problem, the internet protocol. Why? Because when this protocol started, when this protocol started to now, it's the same. Oh, you're going to tell me, well, Adio, do not say that because right now we got IP6 and it's out there. Yeah, 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 but IP6 is still the same concept. It's just that they started it, a new protocol with more octels and all that, but it's still not even implemented, most likely out there. So IP4 is what we got, and it is still the same thing. And the concept of this protocol, the way it communicates, is the same. Since then, towards now. What is the problem with that, Dario? Well, the problem is, when you have something out there for so long, and it is the same, you get people that begins to learn it so well that they become masters on it. They understand the whole concept of it. They understand every bit of it. They understand every electron about it. And when they do understand that, that's it. Because they understand. And and it is no mystery in there no more. And once it's no, it's no mystery, you know, how can you stop that? So, IP, you know, is the problem. It's, it's, it's where everything starts. Remember, a hacker can hack your computer from the IP. It could hack your system from an IP. He could get into your equipment if they are IP ready. And it all starts through the IP. Okay. So what you're saying is pretty simple. You're saying since the technology started to now, we are still using the same layers and communication protocols that are out there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I'm also saying that since we started to now, we're still using the same medias of the communications. We have enhanced some, we have add some. The ones that we add, we're gonna cover it, and the ones that are still the same, they're still the same, it's just the same. You know, when we started uh, computers a long time ago, uh, it was different because you had, you had different topologies and you had different, uh, protocols uh, you had different uh, companies doing different type of communication layers I remember IBM had their own uh, they still do but you know it all has simplified into Ethernet you know Ethernet and everything is running start it's pretty simple so the problem lies within the IP and since we started to now, that's what is happening. We haven't changed that. By not changing that, we are placed ourselves in a very, very uncomfortable spot. Okay. So, most likely, that's what I wanted to cover with why is this happening? This is happening because the time has passed. We haven't changed much about it. And people are already understanding a hundred percent about the communication. Remember, when I say people, I don't mean everybody. You know, it's like a, a group of people are already beginning to be masters on it. And this group of people is enough to do enough damage. You know, and if it's something so important for us, like the networks, like the internet, and all this stuff, we should have people out there helping us uh, to secure it. And it is a way. Uh, it's not that it is no way. We have to wait for the end of the video so you can start seeing the ways of of controlling all this but it is ways it is way of, of, of securing all this and making sure that all this is working and, and how to keep it working just gotta get to there and you'll see we're, we're going to cover that let's go with the other topic okay. another another word that I've been using a lot is attacks and if you see, I'm trying to cover each thing by his words, and then at the end, I'm going to start doing the packages. How does the hackers work? What attacks do they do? How do they do it? And I'm going to be more specific. Remember, 
This video is not 